let's uh, get into it. We have the, the template here, the zip file. Right click on it and click on extract here. We have this folder where we have uh, the footage, the, the project file and the readme text so I can read and see what I wrote. So let's get into it. I already opened. As you see, this project must be converted so it shows me that it is a CS6 project file and I have uh, the CC After Effects. Click OK and uh, should uh, load. So here it is. Hmm. Might take some time because uh, my PC is a bit slow. Okay, so here it is. Now, what I want to show you is to how how to change your name. You scroll here, and you see this. Uh, as you can see here, down here, you have name change and link change. And up here in the tab, all the tabs open. So, click on the name change, and you have this text here. Up here, in the, on the top, you have the, to the horizontal type. Click on it, click and drag over the text, and let's say official trademark. This trademark I don't like, but. So, after this is done, as you can see, the name updated here. I'm gonna show you how to change the link app as well. I'm gonna root of TM4. This is my YouTube link. As you can see, if the the name is long enough. Is gonna intersect with the, the mask that I, I put it there. So in order to fix that, click on toggle mask and shape path visibility. Press V on the keyboard or this uh, selection tool here. Double click on the mask and click and drag on the sides. By and of course click hold control. So you can uh, can scale even on uh, either sides. So this uh, should be should be done. Now I'm not gonna show you how to to change all the colors on the shapes and, uh, and stuff like that because as you can see there are lots of them and I forgot to, to put uh, an expression or something so it, it might be easier. But I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you how to change the background. Click on the BG solid. Click effects and control. Effect controls. As you can see, you have a gradient map here. And uh, if you click on this arrow, you have star color, which is the middle one, and end color, which is the uh, the side one. So let's click on the side one and let's make it black as you can see it gets darker and this one let's make it a white or that reddish color that's no, looks pretty good if you want the, the vignette to look more subtle you can click on the click and drag on the end of line so the, the dark color becomes more faded. Also, as you can see, it becomes uh, like this. Anyway, this is the background for the for the text. If you want to change the color, all, all you have to do is click on the text here. And if you, if you don't have the character uh, panel here, click on the window as you can see I have checked the, the character it will show up somewhere around here or here so if you have this click on the text click on this 
square here, fill color, double click on it, and uh, uh, let's change it to blue. This uh, a very saturated blue. Here it is. As you can see it's updated here. And for for the link, you can uh, do the same also. Now, I'm going to show you how to, to render this. As you can see, I don't, I didn't, I didn't put a, a song in here, so it, you would have to, to put your own and edit it. Anyway, let's uh, see how to render this. Make sure you have the main comp selected here in the tabs. Click, click on the main comp. Go to File, Export, and Add to Render Cube. I don't know how to pronounce exactly. That. This uh, tab should pop up. As you can see, the main comp is the name here. Here, where, where it says Output Module and uh, Lossless. Click on the lossless and uh, you should have this panel show. On the format, click on the format and uh, choose a, a render settings. I have H2764, which is the best for YouTube with a small file size. Click on it and uh, OK. Now, as you can see, the output tool changed to main pump dot mp4 now so you can save it wherever you want let's uh, let's choose the desktop so it can be easier i choose desktop click on this and say free Click save and you're set. Only thing you have to do, click render and it's done. Thanks guys for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you to change the name and the color. And uh, let me know in the comments what you think about uh, me making tutorials after the for templates so you can edit it easier. Make sure to, to like this video and uh, we'll see you next time with uh, another template. Bye guys.